Hi YouTube. Um, so today was like Christmas morning. So exciting. I got a Universal Yums box, which was my first and my first book outlet haul. And oh my gosh, like I said, so freaking exciting. And I actually just dropped one of the books on my toe and it hurt really bad. So, okay. So I bought 15 books for $65.14, but $10.49 was shipped. Um, and three of the books, uh, one book has three or, or four stories, one book has two novels in it, and another book has three. So, I mean, really, it's more than 15 books. Let's get started, because I have a feeling this is going to be a pretty long video. Okay, so the first book is Flawless, um, Pretty Little Liars, number two. And I read the first one. It was good. It was an easy read. So the back of the book says $8.99. And I paid $3.99 for it. So there's that. The second book is Psycho, Ed Gain. If you don't know who Ed Gain is, he is the one that they base Psycho, Silence of the Lambs, and Texas Chainsaw Massacre on. This guy's a cannibal, and he, and he cross-dressed, and he so people's faces onto his and he, he's a freak and I can't wait to read about it and see you know all what he did because that stuff interests me because they're freaks but um this is $14.99 and I paid $4.99 for it so and the hardest part about this is what book am I going to read first it's so exciting ah Okay, this one is such a cool cover. It's called Quintessence by... Oh, I didn't even... I guess I should say the authors. So the first one is Sarah Shepard. The second one is Paul Anthony Woods. This one is by David Walton. And here's the back of the ship a little bit. Isn't that a freaking awesome cover? Like, I could just stare at book covers for days. It just... Uh, pictures are worth a thousand words. It tells a story. It's awesome. So this book is about um, this person called Christopher Sinclair. He's an alchemist and um, he is caring about one thing, quintessence. A substance he believes will grant magical powers and immortality and he has a ship. So he's sailing with a couple of people and um, they go on this adventure and this island, and it's got mysteries and animals and secrets. So, this book says $25.99, and we paid, me, we isn't my boyfriend and me, but we paid about $3.99 for it. So, um, the next book is Something Red by Douglas Nicholas. So this is um, like a historical novel, and it's about uh, these people who are uh, driving their wagons across the mountains, and they go to these three different places, and something is following them. And um, they're going to have to, no one is safe from the terrible being that lurks in the darkness, and I think that they're going to have to maybe fight the darkness and see what is going on with that. But there's actually a little wolf here. And inside there's like wolf tracks. So I don't know if it's a, like a, you know, the big bad wolf or something. It's going to be cool. $25 we paid. $249 for it. So far I've gotten two nice um, hardbacks. Which I actually don't care about if they're hardback or softback. Because softbacks are easier to flip open and read in my opinion, but hey, I'm loving these books. So, this one is Peace Weaver by Rebecca Barnhouse. And it says it's a companion to the coming of dragon. So, I mean, uh, hopefully, you know, that doesn't have anything. Hopefully, you don't have to read that one to understand what's going on in this one. But this thing looks kind of like a mossy orangutan, in my opinion. But, um, it's about this, uh, teenager Hild, and, um, she's like, a her, 
the king's niece or something, and she has to go on the quest uh, over to Beowulf's area of land and try to get peace, but this thing keeps following her, and she is probably going to have to fight it. And so, uh, it sounds pretty cool. And this says... Okay, this does not have a price, but we paid $3.99 for it. So. Okay, this I saw in high school, and I thought it looked cute, like a fun little read. And it's not that thick. And it's The Sweetheart of Prosper County by Jill S. Alexander. And here's a little rooster. It's about this girl named Austin Gray who um, wants to be the sweetheart of Prosper County. And um, she has this chicken um, named Charles Dickens. And her mom, I guess, is overprotective. And she wants to live her own life, but her mom, like, won't let her. Uh, but she really wants to be... She says that she'll do almost anything to be the sweetheart. So that looks like a cute little read. Okay, so the next one is Four Summoner's Tales. Um, and this has got four mini novels in it. And it, one of them is Suffer the Children by Kelly Armstrong, which is actually the reason I bought the book. Because her book, Bitten, I just finished a while back. It was really good. And The Pipers by Christopher Golden. A Bad Season for Necromancy by David Liss. And A Live Day by Jonathan Mayberry. So, all these stories have to do with raising the dead. Um, so that ought to be interesting. The next one I have is called Farewell My Queen, a novel by Chantel, or Chantel Thomas. It's about, in 1789, um, about the queen's devoted, it says, um, a devoted reader for Marie Antoinette. So there's the, the devoted reader and there's Marie Antoinette. And it just talks about how she follows the, um, her uh, Marie's life and um, witnesses certain things that happen in her life. So, And it's like historical. It's historical. And I've never read really that. And I've gotten several historical like fiction novels that I'm so excited to read. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I forgot. This one uh, goes for $8.99. And we pay $2.99 for it. The Summoner's Tales goes for $16. And we paid $1.49. Farewell, My Queen goes for $15. It's not that thick either. But that goes for $1.99. Book Outlet, I can't believe it took me this long to find you. You are amazing. I've been really excited for this next one. It's called Hild. Goes for $18 and we paid $2.49. It is a historical novel about... Um, now, St. Hilda of Whitby was a real person, so the author, which is Nicola Griffith, um, she talks about Hild's life. She's a teenager, and uh, she's going on this adventure, I think. Um, but I've heard that it's a hard read because there's a lot of words and um, names and stuff that are from the Middle Ages, but I'm so excited to check it out. And it feels like a gritty-ish novel, but it's so bendable. These are the kind of books I love, when they're very easy to um, fold over and stuff like that. So, the next one is The Vampire Diaries. Now, this is the one with two novels, The Awakening and The Struggle, by L.J. Smith. Um, this one says $9.99, but there's been a sticker that says $10.99, but that, is, we paid $4.99. So it's about Elena, Stefan, Damon, and, uh, their vampire, their vampires, and I love the CW series. I've been a fan since it started in 2009. It's freaking awesome, and I know the books are completely different, 
And I never, I said that I would never read the books, but I kind of, you know, I, it was $4.99 for two books. And I'm like, it's cheap. And plus, the se there's like one more season left of Vampire Diaries. And I thought it would be interesting to see how different it really is. So there's that. Now, the next one was actually a scratch and dent. So it was even cheaper than the cheap books are now. But there's nothing wrong with it. There, I see no scratches, no dents, no anything. And this book is King of Ithaca. And it's about, um, oh, it is by Tracy Barrett. It says, with the Trojan War over, it's up to Telemachos, I think that's his, I think that's how you pronounce his name, to secure the throne of Ithaca and bring Odysseus, his father, home. Okay, so that's, it's about him going over and, um, trying to find his father. And it goes for $9.99. And we paid $1.49. It's also historical or mythological, so that's gonna be cool. Okay, we have four books left. This is Slave of My Thirst by Tom Holland, and it goes for $27.95, and we got it for $4.99. And it's about Dr. John Elliot, and um, he's going to a far off place called. Kalakshutra, and he returned to London, and there's a plague of mem plagued by memories of a horrific disease that uh, sh it's tie got ties to vampire lore, and his friend goes missing, and so he has to do this journey, and he's accompanied by Bram Stoker, and there's this ravishing seductress Lila, and she it says she will not res. She will not rest until she has coaxed Elliot's most monstrous impulses into the open and unleashed them on an unsuspecting London. Um, the text in some of these books are super small. And I have really bad eyes. So, um, yeah, this, did I say how much I paid for this already? Yes, I think I did. Yes, $4.99 or something. $3.99. I can't hardly tell. <laughs> okay, so there's that. Alright, the next one is Sphinx's Princess by Esther Freisner. This is um, another like historical fiction book or whatever. It's uh, about Nefertiti. She's the dutiful daughter of, her of a commoner. And her aunt is the manipulative queen Ty. Or T. And uh, she wants to use Nefertiti for her quest and power. And uh, Nefertiti must leave her family and enter a life filled with courtly intrigue and danger in ancient Egypt. So, this one goes for $8.99, and we paid a whopping 79 cents for it. So, I love these prices. They're excellent. Alright, second to last book is called The Shotgun Arcana by R.S. Belcher. Love these covers. They're so creepy and amazing. This says $25.99. And we paid $6.99 for it. And it's about... It's in 1870. There's a, uh, a town. And there's... Uh, the town is Golgotha. It's got um, an army of 32 outlaws, lunatics, serial killers, and cannibals are coming to the town and the sheriff John Highfather and his deputies already have their hands full with psycho people and um, <clears throat> says the town is people will be tested as never before and some of them will never be the same so sounds like you know kind of a a western almost but like not it just sounds really cool so, okay, my last book is freaking huge, and it's got three novels in one. And it is Terry Brooks, The Voyage of the Gerald Shannara Trol Trilogy. Love the cover of this. Now, I saw this when I was in high school on the bookshelf, and I always thought this said Jerry Shannara. And I always thought that that was the, um, 
the main person in the book, but I learned that that's the little ship right here. And the three novels in here are Isle Witch, Antrax, and Morgor. And it's about um, a half-drowned elf carries a map, and um, the Isle Witch will stop at nothing to possess it. And um, so they're in search of elusive magic. Um, and they use the ship to go places. I don't know. And the, um, the pages are like ruffled and stuff. This has got over a thousand pages in it because, let's see. It's got a thousand two hundred and thirty five pages, but there's three books in it. And some, the Rocky Mountain News says, If Harry Potter has given you a thirst for fantasy and you have not discovered the magic of Terry Brooks, you are in for a treat. And like I said in my video before, I'm obsessed with Harry Potter. And this goes for $35. And we paid um, $11.99. So, this is so huge. I have heard, you know good things about this. I've heard good things about, like, all these books. I, um, a couple of them I looked up to see what people were saying about them, and they were liking them. I mean, there's always people who don't like stuff. One thing I am disappointed about, I was hoping I would get a $5 coupon, because I already have books I want to get for next time, but these would last me, like, my lifetime, because I'm a slow reader. What I'm going to do is, um, read the first paragraph of each book to see what one I want to read first, which one grabs my attention the best, and think, I am so excited for all of these books. Thank you, Book Outlet, for your amazing prices and your amazing quality. This, it's like so awesome. You have found a loyal customer in me, and um, let's see. I will